everyone, my name is Bernhard von Opel. I'm a master dental technician here at Formlabs and I'm going to show you in this video how to design a removal dice model in ExoCut. Before we dive in, let me recap what we already covered. In the second episode of this series, I was showing you how to install the cut libraries for ExoCut and 3Shape. In the third episode, we were looking into the actual cut design and discussing a little bit the considerations and options we have. And now we're going to jump into ExoCut. So let's get started. I have set up a case in ExoCut where we have one crown and an anterior bridge. So let's dive directly into Model Creator. So you see I already have a saved file. For the purpose of this video, we're going to just load the raw scan data, which is in this case located on my desktop. Here it is. So if you have installed the libraries like I showed you in the second episode, you will find them easily. And the first thing we're going to set up is here telling ExoCard what to use. So let me click on this, select option and scroll down. ExoCard LFCNA now comes with a preset for the Form 4B. That's not the one we're going to use. The one that comes with our library that you installed if you followed the second episode is called Form 4B Precision Model. So these are the two choices. Let's align the view to the front view. And as we learned in the previous episode, we want to have all the three dice having the same lengths. So what I do here is going to tilt the scan a little bit. And why? Because I'm aiming to have the same length of die for this little canine here and the mora. That's why I tilted it a little bit because otherwise the canine would be super short. That's a thing to avoid. And then I also pulled it a little bit down. As a general rule of thumb, I recommend to end up here with a value around 24 to 25 millimeters. So once we are done with this, we can click next. And then we can get rid a little bit of parts of the scan we don't use. You're going to understand later why I'm doing this here. I'm just removing this and then clicking on next. So now as we don't have any restorations designed yet, I have to tell ExoCut where the margins are. And again, in the next step, we could design some adjacent tees to be removable by clicking next and just skip this step. One thing we learned from the previous episode is that the insertion axis plays a, a big role uh, in controlling the friction. So let's see what we have here. So if we want to have this die follow the tooth axis, we will tilt it a little bit. Same for the canine here. And if I'm looking at this one, I feel like I'm also tilting it a little bit. Let's try to have an insertion axis that is maximum 15 degrees off from the file Z axis. We have some die parameters that we have to enter manually that will be fixed in future updates of ExoCard, but right now you have to enter this manually. We are going to set the pin height to 1.5 millimeter. Seating width one millimeter is fine. Pre preparation margin extrusion, I also want it at zero. What we also covered in the last episode is that we want to have a taper. And for some reason, this is not automatic in the presets, so I'm putting it manually here, two degrees of a taper. I want to have the taper going the full length of the die. So I put this up to the maximum. And then we also learn that for some reasons, we don't want to have a pin. In general, I always click omit pin and digital die, I uncheck it. Now in this section here, in this tab, this is the most important part here that controls the friction. We have one value that might be pretty familiar to you, which is the horizontal shaft gap. This one with position model should be set to zero. And then we have a couple of new sliders and values in ExoCut. So we have a dynamic offset and this one should be set to minus 0.01. And we have a range for this dynamic offset change from 5 to 10 millimeters cross section. 
and a vertical gap, which is also maybe familiar to you, of zero. Let me show how this works. Great, so here we are. And if we are going to hide the model, you have a better view on the dice and you see they have a very slight taper, which is going to help us control the friction. So we always get the same friction. In the next section, we can add a label and we can add drain holes. You see that I get automatically these little drain holes at each die position. They need to be a little bit adjusted, so let's align them a little bit better. So they're actually pointing to the center of this little hole here. And we see they are quite large for these smaller dies. Let me reduce the diameter a little bit. And yes, we could also add a text here. When we click next, all these little things get applied and we're good to go. That's our little model ready to print. So that was it for ExoCut. And in the next episode, we're going to look at three-shaped dental system. See you there.